Good morning, students. It's me, Miss Sanya, and today we are back with another lesson. As you all know, that we have completed transport and communication part two in the previous lecture. So today we are going to cover transport and communication part three. So before moving forward, I just want to highlight you a few things. For the first thing, hurry up, grab your notebook along with pencil or pen and start writing the important pointers. And yes, I will not uh, speak about the other guidelines because you're already familiar with the other guidelines. All right. So let's move forward. I am zooming the screen for all of you so that you can see very clearly that what exactly the content is written. All right. Transport and communication. As you're already familiar with that, we have covered railways and roadways in the previous lecture. So today we are taking a start with air transportation. The multiple points which we are going to talk today about air transportation, each and every point plays a very important role. And there were multiple questions which were included in your past papers in context of air transportation. Point number one. Quick means of transport. Yes, of course, it is the quickest means of transportation because it covers long distance. For example, if I'm living in Pakistan and if I have to travel somewhere out, such as if I have to travel in China or in London, so it is the best means of transportation in that context. All right. But the second point, yes, of course, it is fairly expensive. Air transportation, the cost of air transportation is much more as compared to railway transportation and roadways all right so people prefer this transportation for long term routes all right now the third point connect distance areas yes of course it is connecting the distance areas and then the fourth point it is also preferred for long distances which i've already explained you by giving an example then this another point is connect city to city let me quote an example over here. When I am talking about Pakistan, then of course there are multiple cities of Pakistan, such as Islamabad is also known as the capital of Pakistan, and Islamabad is one of the city which is situated in Pakistan. So if I have to travel, for, for example, if I'm living in Karachi, right? If I have to travel from Karachi to Islamabad, then of course I can take this air transportation route. But yes, of course, See, air transportation from one end, it, it is the quickest means of transport. It means that if I'm having an emergency, I would go from this route. But I'm having other means as well. I can travel through railways as well to Islamabad. But the point is that if I'm considering air transportation, then what exactly is the background story due to which I am considering this? But when I talk about country to country, so air transportation is basically for country to country because it's a long distance route. If I say that I can travel through railways to a different country, then of course this thing cannot happen. Why? Because we haven't advanced, we, we are not advanced into our technologies that much that we, we don't have that long way route through which we can travel. But yes, when I talk about the Karakoram highways, which is known as the Silk Route or the Silk Road, then a road transportation, we are having that Silk Road, which connects China to Pakistan. But other than that, we are not having any sort of other transportation in this context. Only we are having air transportation to travel from country to country. And another means we are having uh, the other transportation to travel from city to city. All right. Now, when I talk about air transport, then air transport is the most effective for low volume and high value goods. Yes, of course, it has low volume. When I talk about low volume and high value goods, so if you want to import and export different products, then definitely people prefer air transportation. And there is another thing as well. When you're traveling, then there there is a the requirement of a luggage as well that you cannot exceed that requirement if you will exceed then they will not allow you to take your or to carry your luggage with you so you have to follow their requirements as well okay that need to be moved quickly and yes of course if you want to travel and if you want to export a product from one place to another in the quickest means or in the quickest time then definitely people prefer air transportation for that thing but you have to keep one more thing in mind. See, if if you are having a business for of, uh, for example, you're having a business of shirts, t-shirts, right? If somebody 
orders a t-shirt from your website online so on one order let's suppose you're you are living in america and the other person is from pakistan and that person orders a t-shirt online from your website so just for that one t-shirt you won't prefer air transportation you have already seen this thing that on multiple websites it's written that for example if you are you know if you're ordering something then there there is a thing which is written over there it will be delivered to you within five to ten days right why the reason that it has been written over there that they will take at least five to ten days the major reason behind this is number one see if the product is just one definitely they have to go for the costing as well they have to see the taxations as well first they will uh, you know add on all of those bulk of orders first they if, if they are taking 5 to 10 days or 10 to 15 days it depends on the product it depends on how many people are engaging into that product it depends on how many people are ordering that product for example if there are 50 people around who are ordering that product then the product will be dispatched and then the product will come at your doorstep so this is the procedure that how it works there is an extensive domestic air network linking all the key cities and major district centers. Yes, of course, there is an extensive domestic air network. It means it is a wide or a vast network linking things which are linking up cities and which are linking up countries together. Now, why is air transport important within Pakistan? When we talk about air transportation, then why or does it play an important role over there? Answer this question see whatever questions which i'm explaining or whatever questions which i've explained in the previous lectures as well i have taken these questions from the past papers so it means that each and everything which i am explaining to you people is very important for your board examination air transport generates benefits to consumers and the wider economy by providing speedy connections between cities Yes, of course, if you have to travel from one place to another, so that is the speedy connection, you can travel from one place to another and you can reach your destination on the required time. This is the main reason that people prefer air transportation. These virtual bridges in the air enable the economic flows of goods, investments, people and ideas that are the fundamental drivers of economic growth. The Middle East is the largest market for passenger flows to Pakistan. Air transport facilities, flows of goods, investments, and people. When we talk about air transportation, then there are multiple things which we are doing from air transportation, such as we are traveling from one place to another. Secondly, we are importing and exporting products. Third thing, we are growing our economy, and uh, we are growing our economy in multiple ways. Let's see the tourists which comes from different countries to your country so definitely they're traveling through air transportation when they're coming to your country so they're benefiting it because they're traveling to multiple historical places or to the famous places of pakistan so this is how you're benefiting your economy in different ways so the purpose of air transportation is not limited to one purpose but it is used for multiple purposes all right in contrast to railways, airways are considered as better means of transportation. Give five reasons to support the statement. Why do you consider that air transportation is better than railway transportation? This question was included in your past paper, which I've quoted over here as well. Goods delivered or moved abroad airways are always good in condition as compared to railways because obviously you are there that is the speedy connection and you are delivering the goods timely okay military officials politicians celebrities travel through airways in in regards with security then airways are much more secured as compared to railways so when i talk about big shots or when i talk about bureaucrats those definitely or the Big shot means all of those people who are the high officials. So they prefer airways as compared to the other means. All right. It is highly equipped with modern technologies. Yes, of course, when I talk about railways, railways still they're working with higher, uh, not completely higher or modern technologies, 
but yes our railway system of pakistan have been upgraded as compared to the before system but yes of course when we talk about airways then modern technologies are much more advanced as compared to the other means of transportation in emergency cases control room handle the situation yes the control room handles the situation in emergency purpose and they take action within seconds all right airways are more fast and efficient than railways because obviously which i've mentioned before about it if you want to travel somewhere then in a limited period of time you can reach to your destination they are the perfect way to deliver confidential information to other countries or military passes so the the high officials use this medium to deliver information from one place to another they doesn't have to wait for the route construction like railways they don't have to uh, wait for this purpose they just execute on to the instructions they provide wide range of destination within the country and abroad as well yes of course they're providing the high range of definition destination and they they're providing high range of things as well let me just quote an example of um, a historical perspective over here when we talk about news until and unless our railway systems were not built and our airways were not built when i talk about the previous centuries you know uh, many centuries before when uh, people started telling about different countries if you want to um, deliver the news of another country let's suppose you're living in london but you wanted to know that what is going on in britain right how would you know that thing or if you wanted to know what is going on in italy or somewhere else or switzerland right so what they used to do was there was a, a there was one official who used to travel to another country he gathers news from there that country and then he come back within 5 to 6 days so this is how the news was delivered into that country let's suppose i am from london i'm traveling to different countries to collect different news and then i'm coming back and then i'm giving those news to my officials right and when i'm publishing those news so those news were already the things which have happened in the past and then i'm posting all of those news right so that that was a connection barrier over there we have introduced modern technologies and means of railways and airways to you know to just um to just break the chains or to just uh to just strong the connection between two countries and this have happened in the 21st century when we have entered into the era of industrialization now name any one international airport and list some of the facilities provided there i've also taken this question from the past papers so the international airport which i've taken over here is hong kong international airport and the facilities which are provided in hong kong international airport are as the following they having airline lounge where you can sit and you can communicate with one another they having airport ambassador airport courier service airport lost and found airport world trade center automated people mover baggage me measuring gog baggage packing and wrapping service baggage pick and up pick up and delivery baggage porter service baggage storage and delivery battery recharger service caring corner charging facility children play and tv area china travel services and uh, complimentary shower facilities convenience of documents now when we talk about all of those facilities which are listed below and which i've already quoted these facilities are not only provided internationally but many of these facilities are provided in pakistan as well all right so this is the assignment for all of you today i hope that this presentation was very interesting for all of you question number 1 why is air transport important within pakistan question number 2 in contrast to railways airways are considered as better means of transportation give reason to support the statement if you are saying yes then you have to justify your answer if you are saying no then obviously you have to give the reasoning as well name any one of the international airport and list some of the facilities provided there so you have to do this assignment and then you have to pose the picture of your assignment under my instructions on kp and if you are having any sort of questions then definitely you can ask me on kp in the comment section or where wherever we are connected but most probably you have to ask me over there so i hope that this presentation was very interesting for you inshallah we'll return back with another presentation for all of you till then take care barakallah and allah hafiz